Tamarindo, the second stop on our journey to Costa Rica. A few things to note about this place. It has incredible beaches, amazing surfing. There's an amazing natural park nearby, which also has incredible beaches. And it is perhaps the most touristy place in all of Costa Rica. We heard how fun Tamarindo is to be a visitor. And in that aspect, Tamarindo treated us quite well. However, due to the touristic nature of this place, we're going to show you a quick guide of what to avoid and see a general view of Tamarindo that is hopefully a bit more interesting and doesn't involve a sloth refrigerator magnet. Join us on our take of this wonderful city and maybe you can determine for yourself if this place is worth it. Hello guys, we are here spending a lovely morning on Tamarindo Beach. So something that you'll note about green season is on the coast, it is not constantly rainy and cloudy every day. As you can see, today we are enjoying beautiful and bright blue skies, and it is a markedly warmer temperature than it was. So we're gonna actually enjoy the beach today. I was in a bit of a weird space upon entering Tamarindo. I had driven for many hours. I believe it was about six hours. Somehow the kids slept the entire time, but I was hungry, frustrated, nervous that we almost slid off the side of a mountain several times. And by the time I went to Tamarindo, I was starving. I hadn't eaten all day and I was a cranky boy. And I wanted alcohol inside of my body. It was one of those instances where you're flustered, you're in a new environment, everything is unfamiliar, you're in a completely different climate now from the mountains that we were in. And I decided to wolf down a bunch of food like an animal. I ate so much food over the course of just one hour, it was insane. And I also drank these beer Ritas, which really creep up on you. You have four of those things. It's like having over eight drinks. And I had all of this 
start to finish in maybe two hours. And I was shmammered, absolutely shmammered. And unfortunately, we filmed a few interactions that I had. Randomly, while describing a bunch of nonsense, an Argentinian guy on vacation just crept in. And this was our interaction. We were both hammered, by the way. It drains from the model. Hello. Uh, hello. Is Argentina a best country? Costa Rica is one of the best countries in the world to visit. Okay, okay, okay. I, uh, I am Argentino. Uh, uh, Argentina. Argentina. Uh, uh, very, hey, uh, you come to Costa Rica from Argentina. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Bueno, yes. yes. Mucho gracias. Quiero mucho. Yes, absolutely. Buenas noches. Yes. Enjoy drinking in Costa Rica. Yes. Yes. <laughs> drinking in Costa Rica. A bebe Costa Rica. Oh, oh, yeah. Muchas yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a beer margarita sí. over there. Nos pedimos un par de margaritas. Un par de cerveza y, oh. y un par de coco loco. Oh. Nos vemos. All right, all right. Nos vemos. Adiós. Pásate. Adiós. Have you ever seen Guardian Angels from the 90s? It's kind of the same thing, except he's the drinking version. Guardian Angels. An Argentinian Guardian Angel. All right, time to go drink some more. Come on, let's go. Let's go. After having several beeritas last night, I'm honestly having kind of a slow start, I'll admit. Uh, woke up a little dehydrated, <laughs> had a headache. Tamarindo is an interesting place. It's fascinating to see how many expats um, have found a home here. I mean, I, I feel like this place is truly shaped by the expat community here. Right before I turned the GoPro on, I literally uh, saw a guy, a white guy with dreadlocks, riding a horse down the beach. So if that doesn't sum up Tamarindo, I don't know what does. Oh, look at the puppy. So we're gonna go shopping. Check out this main drag, see what it's all about. Check out some nice real estate. You too, for 800,000, can have that. Kind of swanky for Costa Rica prices, but I imagine with all the expats here, this is probably some of the more expensive real estate in the country. So far, a bunch of touristy trinkets. Let's say Costa Rica on them. Tamarindo, the sign. You hear me say this a lot, but gosh, beautiful country. Beautiful. I smell some tasty charcoal, something or other cooking. Open barbecue. Is the fish market uh, open? Yeah. Ah, I, can I go inside? Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Just want to take a quick look around. Ah, 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. And that's all in yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Excellent. No, this is good. Okay. This is very good. Uh, you open. Um, you open later. Yeah, yeah. Later. Okay. Yeah. I need to go to the store. Come back. Okay. Cook. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Pedro GPS. What about? What's going on over here? You can get some agua frescas. Ooh. Here you go, T. You can have a massage on the beach. Yeah, do you, do you want a massage on the beach? Well, you could watch the waves. Yeah. We'll be back. We just came back from scuba diving, maybe did a little bit of fishing. Who knows? This is so relaxing. Monteverde, we were kind of go, go, go. Let's do this over here. Let's try this. Let's go on an epic hike through the jungle. And it's great, you know, but it's, this is just so different. And it's so mellow and chill and relaxing. I kind of see why so many expats looked at Tamarindo and they said, yep, this is the place. Oh, oh. Ah. No, thank you. <laughs> no. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Everybody always has a hustle. Got to respect it. Got to be nice. It's what they do for a living. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey. Come on, buddy. <laughs> if I was in shape, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> intruder that's the imposter oh but he's distracted by food the ice wasn't so big but it's really good it's like the really good old school salty not the overly sweet ones for kind of used to right do you want to try this one? Uh, I don't know about that. Okay. Paper straw is worst invention in the world. Not bad. It tastes healthy. Mm-hmm. Being so close to the beach, water, and in such a healthy culture, it gave impeccable and delightful eating options. This is from our favorite, slightly bourgeoisie Pico Bistro, which is at the north end of Tamarindo. It featured one of our favorite outdoor sitting areas, as well as a menu of healthy options, minus alcohol, but it's good for our soul. Next is El Chiringuito, and it's heartier, more expansive menu, and fun nightlife. We liked Chiringuito because they also had children's options or small bites, but there was something for everybody on the menu, from fish to chicken to salads, desayunos, whatever you wanted, they definitely had. In addition to the nicer restaurants, Tamarindo does have local soda shops, and those will not disappoint your taste buds either. One thing you may notice is how frequently we ordered ceviche and octopus. Hands down, two of our favorite things to eat in Costa Rica. Being from the States, octopus and ceviche, 
They're not very common around here, so it's always good to overindulge when you get the option. In addition to delightful seafood options, Costa Rica has plenty of local signature foods. Sopa Negra was one of our favorite, patacones, which are the fried green plantains, gallo pinto, their signature rice and beans dish, which is pr featured in our previous video, chifrio, the list goes on. However, on the strip of Tamarindo, some of these more authentic options are more sparse, but it's a short drive away to get the Tico food you want when the craving hits. Although we do at times consider Tamarindo not very authentic and a little touristy, it's a great place to visit and travel to when you have a family, when you're looking for a resort experience, when you want things that are actually very familiar to yourself. It's a great place to relax. It has everything you need, minus umbrellas. We did run into that issue several times, which is why Tiana looks like a wet dog in half of these clips. But outside from those few necessities, they have a grocery store, local food, tourist food, resorts, beach clubs. It is a great place to vacation, relax, and unwind. <laughs>